Governor Eric Holcomb recently made a stop at Evansville around this time yesterday. Well, today we have one of the state's top Democrats with us. State of Indiana House Minority Leader Phil Giaquinta is here. Thank you, Representative Giaquinta, for being here with us early this morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so you're in the Evansville area. I know you, you represent the area of Fort Wayne. Uh, you want to talk about the 2019 legislative session that, that wrapped up in April. Uh, what, what would you like to talk about, I guess, as far as the, the things that we accomplished and maybe some of the things we didn't accomplish for people at home who are, are here in Indiana? Well, I think the biggest thing that we did not accomplish, frankly, was uh, enough money for public schools, uh, traditional public schools. When we look at the funding levels where we should be and what we then were afforded in the budget, which is about 2%, uh, it's really not even, frankly, keeping up with inflation. Uh, from where I am, Fort Wayne Community Schools is receiving around one5 to 1.9% uh, every year for the next two years. Evansville, the Evansville, Vandenberg County Schools, uh, less than that. So that's really, uh, frankly, difficult to do the things that we want to do with, with the tr traditional public schools if they're not going to uh, get the funding that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And the reason I bring that up is because there's been an issue regarding teacher pay. And um, uh, if you, if you want to be able to pay the teachers what they deserve, uh, you have to be able to get the money into the system. And there just isn't enough that, that we're seeing with, uh, like I said, the traditional public schools. Uh, the governor's been in town, I know, lately, and uh, he's catching... Um, a little bit of heat from some teachers, and I think rightly so, that uh, we need to do a better job of, and we tried, House Democrats tried to do, we put, to, we put uh, forward some, some proposals so that we'd be able to, again, pay the teachers what they deserve. So you bring that up as a problem. What exactly can be done in this next legislative session coming up at the beginning of next year, maybe where we failed in 2019 of what you're kind of talking gonna about? It's going to be difficult because this is a short session and it's not a budget year. We've already passed the budget. There's certainly probably there's some creative people in Indianapolis that can maybe figure out uh, whether it's a one-time bonus or some things like that. But long term, uh, we're actually going to probably have to wait until the, the session of 2000. Uh, 21. Now I know he, the governor's put together an education uh, a commission to look at it. Some fine people, unfortunately, doesn't include any teachers on that commission, which which I think is a big mistake. Uh, he wants to study this. I think there may be end up being some uh, recommendations next year. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but it'll be it'll be difficult uh, because again the budget's already been passed. We well, talk about the budget and some of the changes you'd like to see made. I think one of the issues right now is the fact that Republicans hold such a majority in the House and the Senate, and also in the governor's race we have coming up next year. Obviously, is an opportunity to maybe change some of that in leadership. What do you think Democrats have to do in order to retake the governor's seat and also maybe to try to get bigger numbers in the House and Senate? Well, I, I think honestly what we have been doing, which is. Um, I, our, our House Democrats are really great at going out, knocking on doors, talking to folks in their community, uh, listening and uh, to the needs and of, of what specific, specifically to their districts. And again, I mentioned education. It's, it's a very important issue. Health care, a very important. House Democrats were able to um, pass an amendment that uh, would protect folks in Indiana that had pre-existing conditions. That's very important in case the Affordable Care Act is dismantled at the federal level. So there's a lot of things that we um, House Democrats have, have proposed. Uh, Representative Ryan Hatfield out here out of Evansville has done a great job. Uh, some anti-bullying legislation, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story that we've seen over and over. Uh, things like that, and it's, it's important that uh, not only those that are running again, but the, that those uh, uh, Democrats that are challenging folks uh, next year get out, listen to their constituents, and come up with ideas and uh, House Democrats have been very effective in getting some things done. Real quickly, here in southern Indiana, we're excited, obviously, to have I-69 completed. That's supposed to happen over the next few years. But what in this next legislative session do you think can happen on a bipartisan level with Democrats and Republicans that are coming together that could really help people in Indiana? You think that's realistic? Well, um, you know, what, what we would really like to see, of course, is something new with, with, uh, with regards to um, redistricting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's, this is something that I think a lot of folks here in the state uh, including Southern Indiana, I uh, would like to see. You know, can we put to get, finally get, get put together uh, an independent commission that can draw the map for the, at, because at the census is coming up. There'll be an, um, uh, the maps will be redrawn, and we can can we finally come up with competitive and fair maps and make the um, uh, make the elections more fair. It will, it will, it will increase uh, turnout. Um, and it would be overall, uh, I think, beneficial for the state of Indiana. So obviously, Representative G. Aquinnah, education is a big topic right now. We'll see how voters feel when they hit the uh, the polls and the uh, the voters boxes coming up this fall. Thanks for coming down from Fort Wayne and me. talking to us this morning. Beautiful area down here. I love it. No doubt about it. Thank you for coming and appreciating it with us.